if you've had a seventh grade education, then you've been introduced to the concept of pi. Pi, I first learned in seventh grade as the ratio of a circle circumference to its diameter. So you divide the circle circumference by its diameter, you always get pi. But pi comes up all over the place. It has applications in physics, chemistry, biology, astronomy, in Einstein's field equations. It, it comes up everywhere. But one of the interesting things about pi is that you might remember it as 3.14, but it's actually an infinite number. The decimal representation of pi goes on and on forever. So it's fair to point out that while pi may be an infinite irrational number, Dr. James Grime of YouTube of Numberphile has a video where he explains that you only need 39 digits of pi and you're able to calculate the circumference of the entire universe to the accuracy of one hydrogen atom. So anything beyond 39 digits of pi is a complete waste of time, practically speaking, but not for me, because I wanted to see how many digits of pi could I memorize in the space of a week. Now, it's fair to point out that at the time I started this, I already knew about 70 digits of pi, but the goal I set for myself was I want to see if I could memorize 300 digits of pi in one week. So I'm going to show you what my memory technique looks like, and then I'm going to show you what the final result is. All right, so this is a printout of the first 300 digits of pi. And whenever I can, I assign an image to a string of digits. So for example, this 62294, this is the day before my cousin was born. So I'm able to picture uh, him being born in my head, and that's how I'm able to memorize that string of digits right there. Likewise, this 1964, this is the year my mother was born. So I'm able to picture her in my head when I come to that string. This 1027 used to be my fastest time for solving the Rubik's Cube, 10.27 seconds, and I, know, and I know exactly where I was when it happened. So I'm able to keep that in my head when I solve that bit. This uh, 6783165, again, I know a person that was born on 3165, March 1st, 1965, and I know that 678 is the area code for Atlanta, Georgia. So when I see this string, I picture that person in Atlanta, Georgia. One more example is this 8128. If you're a math major, that is a very special number for you. It's called a perfect number. And I, when I memorize that string, I remember the word perfect. Now, admittedly, most of the digits that I learn, I just memorize by brute force, doing them over and over again. But whenever I'm able to assign an image to a string of digits, that's what I use. All right, now I'm going to show you the memorization of the 300 digits. For the challenge, I decided to wear a blindfold so no one could accuse me of cheating. And I also had a witness uh, sitting next to me following along with the printout to make sure that I wasn't making any mistakes. All right, this is 300 digits of pi, take two. Okay. 3.14159265358979323846264338327950288419716939933 Six two eight six two zero eight nine nine eight six two eight zero three four eight two five three four two one one seven zero six seven nine eight two one four eight zero eight six five one three two eight two three zero six six four seven zero nine three eight four four Six zero nine five five zero five eight two two three one seven two five three five nine four zero eight one two eight four eight one 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 seven four five zero two eight four one zero two seven zero one nine three eight five two one one zero five 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 nine six four four six two two nine four Eight nine five four nine three zero three eight one nine six four four two eight eight one zero nine seven five six six five nine three three four four six one two eight four seven. Five six four eight two three three seven eight six seven eight three one six five two eight 
Four five six four eight five six six nine two three four six. Zero three four eight six one zero four five four three. Two six six four eight two one three three nine three six zero seven two six zero two four nine. One four one two seven three. Yes. All right. Good. Yes. All right. Got it. Three hundred digits of five. Memorize all in a row correctly. Yes. <laughs> Got it. And as I always say, there you have it, guys. Achievement unlocked. Accomplish the goal. Now, I would definitely recommend all of you to go out and try some memory games of your own. Even if it's not memorizing Pi, there's a lot of other great memory games out there online, whether it's memorizing uh, images or faces or digits, words, whatever it might be. It's great brain exercise, and I think that everyone should try it. Uh, until next time, take care now. Bye, guys. 8223176.